Hello everybody, this is Shell from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. And I'm gonna be doing another straight pour today. Um, I think that it's become something I've been trying to not only master, but I just find it so fascinating, the different, different effects that you can get from doing straight cloud pours. And so I'm going to be doing this piece here. Um, I still haven't given it a name, given it a name yet. So that may come later. But I like uh, this orientation right here, where it looks almost like a big feather that kind of comes around and comes up to the end like that. But it's got blues and purples, and then I wanted to keep it sort of like on the cool side. So I think you're going to like it, um, the video, how it turns out, because it wasn't a scraper. It turned out the right way, the way I wanted it to, right on the first go. So let's go over to the um, table and see how I developed this beautiful piece right here using mostly blues and purples, okay? All right, bye-bye. Okay, everybody, we're at my table and I'm gonna get started. So, um, this is a this is a um, four, 16 by 16 inch round. I already sprayed the back of it so it can be nice and tight like a drum so it doesn't cause any distortion. And so let me go over my colors with you and then of course we're gonna layer in the cup, okay? So outside of the white pearl mix, which I'm not gonna put up here, um, I will give you that recipe in the description box. And um, I do have a little bit of black as a base. I'm gonna use some black as a base, but I'm also gonna use a little bit of the black inside the cup, just a little bit, okay? So. I have, this is called Nantucket Blue. It's a um, primary element from Color Art. Let me see if I can turn the light on real quick. One second. And let me brighten it up. Much better. Good, good. I can see. All right, there we go. That's the Nantucket Blue. There's my consistency there. I try not to stir it too much. I stir really slow when I mix it because I'm trying to cut down on the bubbles and those black spots that I've been having in most of my other paintings. Then I have, um, this is a, Prussian blue mixed with um, a little bit of uh, Midnight Shadow from Color Art. And that's that there. Next, I have um, Turquoise um, from Liquitex, Turquoise Blue. There's my consistency there. Leaves a thick trace. Goes away completely in about three seconds. Well, three of my seconds anyway. Then I have, this is permanent violet, um, permanent blue violet from uh, our Amsterdam. And I mixed a little bit of the um, Prism Pour Indigo Violet with it, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. You can't see it, but I can. And lastly, um, Liquitex Basics um, Phthalo Blue. That's that there. Something special I like about a favorite blue. But this is nice and bright. There's my consistency again. So I try to keep my consistency the same throughout. So that way, when I tilt it or spin it, it all flows together. Okay? So now that I went over my colors, let me layer my cup. Um, 
Let's see what the one cup here. Can you see? Okay, so right there. So I learned this by myself. X marks the spot. The way I know if I open over here over the cut over the spot, I'm in the camera. Little tip I just taught myself. So anyway, so let's um go with the Nantucket blue. Look at the mountain there. That's gonna be like the the start of show. Followed by a little bit of black for my contrast to that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go with some uh, What do I go with? Let's say I go with some uh, Prussian blue. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too high up before I add my cloud mix. So that's next. Good, good amount of cloud mix. Then I'll sandwich that with some of the permanent blue violet. Okay, so now let me go back to the Prussian blue. I say Prussian blue, but of course we know as I told you on the list, it's Prussian blue mixed with um, Midnight Shadow from Color Art. Okay, then the turquoise blue. Mm -hmm. A little touch of the black. Let me get that spoon out the way. I'm going to choose like lightly dirty drop a little piece of the cloud mix in there. Yeah. And hopefully that'll give me some effects like some, um, uh, what do you call it? Boulder cells. The phthalo blue. Cover that. And then lastly, we're going to go with the Pressure again. And that's the end of my cup. Okay. So I'm going to put you to a side. Pull the cup, the cup aside. Ah, I'll put a little bit of this um, black down to give me a, a what do you call it, a flood coat. Um, I'm gonna bring out my good friend, you know who that is, Handy Dandy, because he's handy and he's dandy. And see, Handy Dandy can spread things around so I can see little goobers like that and get it out. So I'm not going to have to spread this all the way out to the edge because it will carry some things to the edge. All right, that's good. Don't want to waste paint, right? Get some of this stuff off here. All right, good. Now let me torch it, and then I'll spill my cup out. to pop some bubbles prior to doing that. Okay. 
I gotta get used to this torch. My old torch died on me. But this one's got a smaller flame. It works well, but just has a smaller flame, so I have to get closer, but learn how not to be too close. All right, so here's my cup. I pour it from the front. Let's go. Start up a little high. Hopefully, I can get some bowler cells. Turn slightly a little bit. Okay. Good. Very good, there's that blue coming out. Get you lower. So give me a nice wide thing of blue on there. Mm -hmm. See the lower your cup, the wider your area of your little star gonna be. And that star of my show is that blue. And let me not be too much in there. Good. Now, dump the rest of you on the side of the uh, the canvas. All right. So let that develop. those clouds develop that design Torch some of the bubbles on the outside a few black spots but not as many as I used to have because I learned how to stir slowly and that's kind of like the thing that I need to work out the most is how to stir slowly so I'm gonna let that still kind of work itself out it's a lot of purple in here I wanted more blues I know some people are a fan of the purple. And I am also a fan of the purple. But there's a lot of uh, purple in there. And it kind of started taking over in this area here. And then just jumps back to the uh, blue. But that's okay. I'll still make it work. See, one thing you learn from doing these techniques is that some things you just need to judge how much of one color you're going to put inside of a cup. Not everything is going to be the same or show up the same. Okay. 
face. Let me move this around a little bit. Kind of widen that up. Get you back in the circle, like so, like so. Just kind of move her, move her around a little bit, and then kind of bring her back. Just kind of widen that design up a little bit. Okay, so I think we um, can begin to spin her up. Uh, even though I put all those blues in there, I'm seeing that this is going to be mostly mostly in the violets, and some of the turquoise may pop through. So hopefully, um, it doesn't go too purple on me, but that's okay. Purple's a good good color. I'm from Baltimore. Go Ravens, right? All right, so let me, let me, and if you're not a Ravens fan, well, I pity you. All right, let's go. Give it a little spin to make that move out. Ooh la la. Okay. It almost looks like a big feather coming up here. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what I was looking for, but let me go a little bit more. I think that's too much purple. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave that there. It's sort of monochromatic, but I can work with that. So let me get you down for a closer look at this piece. I'll figure out what I'm going to call it, okay? So I'm going to take the camera off. Okay, folks, this piece is on my drying table now. It's going to take like two days to dry. But look at those colors that sh um, that blends, how it shifts, goes to the blue, to the violet, and that cloud effect. It's not really puffy clouds, but that's okay. I'm liking this, this look. They puff up a little bit on the ends. Nice center, no problems there. The color stayed as opposed to getting taken over by the white cloud mix. The only thing is that I have more purple than I wanted, but that's okay. People like purple and purple like people. But this is the whole piece. I like the way it kind of just kind of swoops up there like a big feather okay so there you have it a 16 inch round um, I'll give this a name uh, hopefully when the video comes out so for now thank you for watching and have a great day bye bye